My system for designing this mural was definitely influenced by the original mural. It had a beautiful color schematic that is really accurately sort of captured Coltrane's mood. So I wanted some of that to be reflected in this new design. The community had an outcry. They wanted another mural done. He lived on 33rd Street, which is right up the block from where we are right now. While he was here in Philly, he was going through a process of exercising some demons that he had and trying to recapture his sobriety. And during this kind of critical moment in his life, he uh, produced some of his most brilliant scores and pieces. Anytime you depict a black figure large on this scale, it's almost like a political statement being made. It's vital that we continue to cherish our cultural history here in Philadelphia, particularly from the black perspective. The reason why murals are so vital to the cultural fabric of Philadelphia is, is the accessibility. The truth is that some museums don't make you feel welcome. It's usually paintings of uh, old white dead people. Uh, that doesn't really resonate with everybody, particularly in a city like Philadelphia that has, you know, more than 50% of the population is either black or brown. Well, I'm in a neighborhood that's 90% African American. And so to see somebody that looks like them working on these murals and, and creating public art, and hopefully that'll inspire them to pursue uh, any dreams or passions that they have.